What's up guys? Okay, so in this video I want to go over three must know things before buying a PFD. These things I think are very important. They can save your life and can save you a lot of money. So in this video we're gonna be talking about PFDs and what you need to know. So here we go. up guys okay so in this video I told you I was gonna talk about the three mistakes that people make this is a touchy subject this is one that you, you pick something you don't like it you don't wear it you wind up dead so it's like a this is a really big subject I know a lot of people want to talk about it but I figured I would take a few minutes to talk about it so I'm gonna take about however long it takes to get this point across and to put my theory out there the big topic number one I want to talk about is you, you know you you probably just bought a, a, a expensive kayak or or you're new and, you, and the kayak was you know something you know it was really expensive for you to buy to begin with and you don't want to go spend a bunch of money on accessories uh, well the accessories are kind of like just as important as the kayak a paddle a life vest maybe even an anchor well the life vest you're gonna say I don't want to spend another hundred bucks two hundred bucks I'm gonna go with that cheap one over there that five dollar orange one that's what I'm gonna buy well that's that is that is probably like the worst thing you could possibly do because one that cheap one you're probably not going to wear very long it's going to wear out it's going to you get what you pay for and it, it's probably you're not going to have it on when like if you ever fall out because it was uncomfortable and it didn't fit you right which leads into my number two is that it doesn't fit you right. Size is a big deal. One, it's got to be buoyant enough to hold you up in the water. And two, it's got to be able to fit you comfortably to where you want to wear it a lot and you can swim with it. Because I think that's probably the, the biggest you know, uh, thing with life vests is you forget once you fall in, you got to swim with the vest. So, um, you know, especially the ones that, that go full length here and full length here, um, you know, you gotta, you're going to be bobbing like this. It's going to be hard to actually swim. So um, you, you, you should practice swimming with it. Um, you should make sure when you put it on, it fits right and it'll fit tight. Because when, that th when you get in the water, the thing is going to bubble up on you just like this. And it's going to be up here if it's not tight. Uh, that's why I spent more on mine, coming back to the, my first topic, um, with the green still quest fisherman that I got. Um, I had a cheap one to begin with. It was a $30 one from Walmart or Academy and I wore it and you can see it in this video that's that yellow one right there how dingy and wore out it is it didn't last a long time it's a second kayak or a, it's a second vest I keep in the kayak at all times for extra buoyancy if I have a friend go with me or if I forget my other uh, life vest it's right there you know it stays in the hatch if the water the kayak takes water um, it's there to give me extra flotation but remember guys you got to be able to swim with it um, and when it's hot, because it's going to be hot out all the time, because this is a, a summertime sport, that you're going to get hot. It's going to be like wearing a coat, and you're going to want to take it off. And that's when you know you go down. I know a lot of people are going to say, "Wow, well, I'm wear that doggone, doggone life vest because that I swim." Well, let me tell you, you could get sick, you could get hurt, you could uh, get tangled up. True story, y'all probably heard my story about the catfish going through my hand and then going into my leg and he was stuck to me and it was two in the morning and it was dark and if I would have fell in I'd have been done because I couldn't swim because I was stuck to a dog on catfish and so that's the reason why I always wear my life vest. Um, my hand, hand could get tangled up in braided line, whatever. That's just, you know, one of the, the, the things I'm trying to get over to you guys is that make sure it fits right and it size is right and it's buoyant enough. You know, the, the, your weight to buoyancy is good. Make sure you go by the size charts. Next topic. All right, so the last one I want to talk about, this is something that I, I'm going to draw all kinds of fire from you guys. Y'all guys are going to troll me in the comment section, but I ain't scared to say it. 
I'm going to go on and say it. Don't buy the inflatables because true story, and I'm going to insert this video right here where it actually happened to us. The vest didn't inflate. It was two in the morning. I think it was like, it was midnight. It was midnight. It was 50 degrees outside and he flipped his kayak and here's what happened. My seat's still strapped on all that. So that thing should float. Did you find it? I don't see anything else floating. I'll go, I can look around. Can you get back in? Huh? Can you get back in? What's your plan here? Can you get like alongside and pull you yeah. really close to you? Alright. Alright. Now, try it. You're gonna have to go straight on this, you know, straight through. There you go. There you go. There you go. You almost there. Kick, kick, I kick. I need to use your kayak for a minute. Kick, 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 oh, kick. Oh god. Whew, you got it, bro. You got it. Oh, that was expensive. <laughs> that was fun. Man, at least you're back in the kayak, man. That's all that counts. So I hope I get my point across, guys, that it can be an accident, you can fall over, you get in a quick current, next thing you know, you're holding on to a piling, and you're wishing you would have just listened to me to not buy an inflatable because it didn't inflate. Unless you've like pulled that cord in the last couple of months, you don't know that thing's gonna inflate either. You know, I'll say this, if you're an experienced dude and you know what you're, you, what, what is the, the chances you're taking with an inflatable, buy the inflatable go ahead and buy it but if you're a new dude just take my advice and get you a nice like regular life vest that's a nice comfortable one that's not hot you can wear it all the time you'll be way happier it'll last way longer and you won't be having to change co2 cartridges out and make sure they're inflate and then when you dump yourself in the surf you're not oh darn it didn't inflate and i get it i'm moving around so much the camera can't even keep up but those are my thoughts guys remember don't go cheap make sure it fits and don't get an inflatable unless you're like a real dude all right because they don't always inflate and i'm gonna draw all kinds of fire from that one but you know what i had to say it somebody's got to say it all right guys that's all i got to say comment down below what kind of life fest you got don't get mad at me i'm just trying to voice my opinion here and trying to help people out but comment down below if you got whatever kind of invests inflatable whatever i'm gonna link my green still quest fisherman in the description box if you want to check it out and that's all i got guys follow me on yak molly instagram facebook and tomorrow i'm gonna to post another video oh and i have uh i'm gonna i'm gonna put all these other videos for the kayak rigging and and for the well and i'm just gonna link all the other videos in this segment together so you can find all the rigging tackle stuff i'll try to put it in the description box i'll see you guys later Understood. It's a shame.